Hi, my name is Justin. I'm a software engineer with Patch My PC. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how you can migrate from SCUP 2011 to the latest version of SCUP that was released today, March 21st, 2018. In this video, we'll be covering some of the new features and why you might want to upgrade. Some of these features include the ability to index catalogs for faster imports, the inclusion of signing certificates within catalogs, SCUP now automatically enables the signature timestamping of updates, as well as something that we like, which is the ability to retain the sorting of headers whenever SCUP is closed and reopened. So what we've got here in this environment is a existing instance of SCUP 2011. We've already imported the Patch My PC catalog, which contains about 500 updates within this, uh, this instance of our SCUP console. If we look under the catalogs node, one thing that we'll want to note is the catalog that we have here. So we've already got our catalog instance configured. In our case, this is a trial catalog that we've got configured, and it's got all the information to import all the updates from us. Now in your environment, um, you should have the Patch My PC catalog as well as any partner catalog. So if you've imported anything such as Adobe catalogs, Dell or HP, they should also be showing up here, and you just want to kind of verify what's there to make sure that after the migration, everything looks okay. The next thing that you want to verify are your current options in SCUP 2011. So in our case, we can see that we have enabled update publishing to a WSUS server. It's connected to a local instance, and in our case, we're using a code signing certificate that is self-signed, uh, created by WSUS. We've also enabled the config manager integration for the auto publication type. Just the default settings here, we're connecting locally, and we've got just the default settings as well for the threshold and megabyte count. Trusted publishers, we've got the Patch My PC code signing certificate that we use to sign our CAB files. This is the only publisher that we've currently got trusted within SCUP 2011. Not too worried about any of the proxy or advanced settings, although most of these settings should be migratable and come over as well. So what we've already done is pre-downloaded the new version of SCUP, the MSI file. It should be called updatespublisher.msi. So I'll go ahead and run through the wizard just to get that installed. This is a basic next, next, next type of installation and we'll choose yes on the user account control prompt, and now we're done. One thing to note here is that SCUP 2011 and the new version, which is installed as Updates Publisher, these two actually live side by side. Um, so they both install, it's not a complete upgrade where it installs on top of SCUP. We're actually gonna have a migration process to run within the new Updates Publisher utility. So I'll go ahead and run that. The first thing we'll have to do is accept the EULA and then OK. Now we're going to read the SCUP 2011 information. So if you had SCUP 2011 installed, you should get the option to migrate settings and data here. There's three core things that we can migrate. So we can update the WSUS, SCCM, our trusted publishers, and any options within SCUP. We can migrate the saved rules. So this is probably something that you wouldn't be using. Generally, this would be things that we're creating as a vendor, uh, the saved rules, but it doesn't hurt to have it checked. And then the next big one here is going to be saved catalogs and subscriptions. So this would be things like our Patch My PC catalog, as well as any partner catalogs that you might have, such as Adobe, Dell, and HP. So we'll go ahead and choose to start the import. This process only takes uh, about a second or two. Um, so we can see that that process is now done. Uh, the first thing that we'll want to verify is our options came over OK. So what we can see is that we've got our configuration settings just the same. So we're enabled, we're publishing to a local WSUS server, and we've also read the WSUS code signing certificate that we had created within SCUP 2011. The config manager server is also enabled by default. Um, that migrated over OK, and we're using the local connection for that, as well as the publishing settings are all the same as well that were migrated. The trusted publishers, we can see that we did migrate our trusted publishers. In our case, it was just our code signing certificate for Patch My PC. The advanced settings migrated over OK. 
One thing that you probably would want to check is the timestamping option. So if this was a new clean install of SCUP, uh, the new version, this would be enabled by default. But since it w it w it's not enabled by default in 2011, this is actually something that you probably would want to enable now. This allows us to code sign the installers that we publish with your certificate so that once the expiration date uh, is in the past and it's expired, as long as we have this timestamp here, clients will still trust that certificate. And everything else should be good here. One new option that we do have is the ability to enable detailed logging. Um, so that's a new setting available here as well. And then if you were debugging something, we could also enable database logging. Um, but we're all good for that. Um, the next thing we'll verify is our catalogs. So in our case, we were just using our catalog here, so it looks like it came over just fine. Now one thing you might notice here is that the update, so if we go back to SCUP 2011, we can see all these updates here. These are not actually migrated. What we would do here is just simply import the updates um, that we have. Now this is actually a new option here. So in the new SCUP, with the ability for us to include signing certificates, this is what this looks like. So in SCUP 2011, what would happen is, each time you download an update, if you didn't already always accept that code signing certificate, so if you haven't downloaded it before, you would get prompted each time as you're publishing an update to accept it. So it would make the initial process of publishing updates much longer because you'd have to go through and accept those. With the new feature that we have here, we basically can accept all the code signing certificates for the applications that we provide for our catalog. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and just go through this and accept these. All right, so that process took about a minute. As you're going through here, uh, just a quick tip, you can do a page up and a page down to quickly get through the list and accept them all. Um, so we'll go ahead and do next here. And the catalog is going to import. So this is the initial import. So it might take uh, about a minute or so to get all 510 of these updates. So I'll go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so that import's complete. We can see that we added 72 new trusted publishers within SCUP, and we have our 510 updates imported. So since the updates are not a migratable object, what we're gonna notice here is we basically just re-import them and we get all the data how we had it. One thing that we won't have anymore is our date published, which isn't a big deal. What we can do is we can simply come in here and republish all the updates that you had, or you could just start fresh since you've already got them all published and just kind of base it off date modified and get any of the new updates that we're adding to our catalog. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and publish everything with the metadata only data type, which is how I had it before, just so we can see that date published uh, within our console. This is an optional setting. Um, just because the updates don't get migrated, they're still gonna actually exist within WSUS. So as we're publishing them, we're not actually doing anything. So if an update's already existing within WSUS that was published from 2011 SCUP, it's still gonna exist there and we'll simply ignore it as we publish these new updates within SCUP. So I'll go ahead and pause it while this goes. It shouldn't be, but about 30 seconds or so. All right, so that import process is completed. Um, so what we can see is we've actually got pretty much the same configuration here that we would have had in two, SCUP 2011 at this point. One thing that I do want to show you is the new import feature and how that can improve the importing. So what we've done, we've gone back into SCUP 2011 and we're simply going to re-import the catalog that we've already got imported. There hasn't been any changes at all between the one time that we imported this and the catalog that we're now re-importing. Um, but what you're going to notice here is that it's going to re-import all 510 updates. It's a pretty quick process, but it's still going to download the catalog and check through each update to see if any of them have been modified. So this will take about a minute or so, depending on how large the catalog is that you're importing, um, for that process to complete. So if we go back to the new version of SCUP, we'll show you the new indexing feature and how that allows you to quickly import catalogs faster. So we've just imported the catalog, but let's say that the catalog were to change. Um, in our case, we'll go ahead and choose import and just re-import the same exact catalog. And what you're gonna notice here, the import is basically instant because it's not gonna download or re-import anything here because the new indexing feature allows SCUP to only see what's changed. 
So for instance, if we were to release a catalog update tomorrow, and let's say five updates had expired, and then we included five new versions of applications, we would actually only go through 10 applications. So the import process would only take about a second or so. Um, so it makes the ability to import any changed catalogs much faster. Now this is something that vendors do have to support. They have to export their catalogs in the new format. This is something that we started doing today as of the new release of SCUP. So things like Dell and Adobe, they would still have to import uh, the new version of their cabs and export them in the new format in order for them to get the quicker importing. So this is something that you're gonna see with our catalog right away, but it might take vendors such as Dell, HP, Adobe, they might have to go through and re-export their catalog using the new format before you see the improvements with partner catalogs. The other feature I'll show you that we like is the ability to retain header information. So for example, uh, we like sorting and publishing updates a lot by date modified. So we can see, uh, for instance, this is the latest catalog update we released today, March 21st. So it's easy to kind of sort here by date modified and go through and publish all these new updates that you might want. So I'll go ahead and close SCUP and reopen it, the new version. And what we'll notice is that this data is actually retained. So in SCUP 2011, it would always sort by the name of the update. With the new version here, if we come back in, we can see that it retains that date modified so we can see all the newest public updates that were published within our catalog. And that should include the migration process. We'll include things such as the download links within the description, as well as if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or email us using the technical support page that will be listed in the description. Thank you for watching and we hope it's been helpful.